What's up guys and welcome back to my channel where we talk about anything tech related. So a lot of people have been asking me how to install Kodi or DSTV now application on Android TV box. So today I'm going to cover that. And if this is your first time coming to this channel, go down there and click on subscribe so that you'll see all our future videos and also hit that bell so that you'll get a notification the moment we post a new video. So I made a video sometime last year, it was around July, on how to install Kodi on the Android TV box and also how to install the DSTV application on Android TV boxes. And it was taken down by YouTube and I got a strike for that and I did a lot of research on why I got a strike. So we are going to talk about that first before we go into other things. So let me start by defining or by explaining what code is if it's legal or it's illegal so code on its own is a legal application it's 100 percent legal that's uh for playing your own media now the problem comes now when you use code to access a certain a content that you're not supposed to be accessing it's like if you go to the shop and buy a knife a knife on its own is 100 percent legal but what you do with it might be illegal if you maybe rob people using that knife that becomes illegal so that is with code as well there are things that you can do with code that are completely legal 100 percent legal but if you try to access applications or content that needs to be paid and you are accessing for free that now becomes illegal so that is why you will get in trouble with google so you see that this code application has become so popular because of people who buy Android TV boxes that are not Google certified. These are the people that can't access or can't install applications because their boxes will not be having the Google uh, Play Store. So for those people to be able to access certain applications, uh, they will use applications like Kodi to be able to install all those applications. And that's where the problem comes. So with the research that I've been doing for the past six or so months, I'm going to give you a solution that is permanent and that will not land you in trouble. So when you want to buy an Android TV box, go and buy a Google certified Android TV box. That way you won't have any problems. There won't be any need for you to install any illegal application for you to access any content. Go to the shop, go to a reputable shop and buy a Google certified Android TV box. Ask in the shop if the, the box that you, you, you'll you be wanting to buy is Google certified. Usually the ones that are Google certified are will be written that this box is Google certified. And if an Android TV box is Google certified, it will come with Google Play Store and you'll be able to install any application that will be on Google Play Store. So you won't have any problem. And there won't be any need for you to look for any pirating software. And that way you'll be doing legal things 100%. So just look on the internet. I'll also list some uh, popular Google certified Android TV boxes uh, in the description. So just go and, and check that list. It will help you in making your decision. And the other thing is that if you compare the prices of Google certified Android TV boxes and uncertified boxes, the difference is very little. And that small difference in prices is not does not really match with the hassle that you have to go through trying to install these applications like Kodi. And the other bad thing about using Kodi is that you can't even install updates on any application. Once you install an update, your application will not work. So it's, it's, it's all those problems that will keep on piling up. And uh, if you compare now the difference, like I said before, that um, the difference in price is not even that much. You get a Google certified Android TV box for just $80. And if you want to buy an uncertified one, it will be maybe $60. So there's only a $20 difference. And that $20 difference, if you are willing to pay that $20 difference, you'll be paying for your peace of mind and you have a box that does not have any problems. And also, if you if something happens with that Android TV box that is a Google certified, you have support on the internet, on the Commons website, because most of these uncertified Android TV boxes do not have any support whatsoever. So if something happens to your Android TV box, it will be on you. That will be your loss 100%.
So if you have any additions or any question, just write in the comment section and we will by no doubt come back to answer that question. And as always, give us a thumbs up if you have liked the video. And if this was your first time coming to this channel, go down there and click on subscribe and also hit that bell so that you get a notification the moment we post a new video. My name is the Duke of Tech. See you on the next one.